Hey, so welcome to the next tutorial. I'm going to try and speak more loudly and clearly this time. So, apologies for the last one. Anyway, I'm going to quickly go through some suggestions. Okay, first off was that the I was using a region as opposed to vertical frames and horizontal frames, as you can see in these comments. Um, and I responded to them with saying that the sprite sheet wasn't optimized for this and was slightly wonky. I was wrong. Um, we can just increase that to... Th I had it three frames by three frames for some reason, most likely because I'm an idiot. But I can increase the top one to four frames, and there we go. Just shift that along so we, we get a nice view of the character's face. The go dot stops being buggy. There we go. Um, so yeah. Uh, that makes animating easier. Speaking of animating, as you can see here, a good suggestion was to, um, instead of using all my code, which I went through, using an animation player to move in a grid fashion. Uh, I will teach you to do this in the next tutorial, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> then there were multiple complaints about my mic, which I responded with, yeah, it's pretty much that I'm talking really quietly. And so I'm talking louder now. Hopefully, ho hopefully that's fixed. And one last thing, um, somebody said that I should explain this line of code better. Um, so every frame you won't move one pixel in the direction you're moving out of these. Uh, so if your current position is equal to uh, the position you started in, plus um the the ta plus 16 in the direction you're going so if the vector was 0 1 this would be 0 16 because 0 times 16 is 0 we're just adding that to start pause to find out where the position the player should be is and then we just set it to false okay now we are going to be doing collision detection um, for this we are going to be using ray casting and we're just or not ray casting but point casting and we're going to be casting a point to the center of each of these squares see if they're clear and if they are then we'll move to them as simple as that. Uh, so we will do this by adding a static body to our world, uh, which can be done like that. And in that static body, we want a sprite. Uh, and we will set this sprite to this, which we will remove mip map and filter likes from. Okay, now we want a collidable object out of the sprite sheet. So I'm just going to jump over to paint dot net. Okay, so we're going to be using a region rec for this one because I really can't be bothered uh, counting all those um, those tiles. Um, so the I will link this sprite sheet in the description um, those are the the region that we need in a future video i will teach you how to use a um, what are they called how's that which we won't have to do the counting of the pixels for so let's just use a snap on and snap this to a nicer position then we want to add a Collision shape. This is what the point will be checking if it's collided with. One of these, basically. We're just going to make this a rectangle. That should be fine. Okay. So. Now onto the code. Actually, simpler than you'd think. So. Every time we're moving... We want to check before we move if there's something there. 
And to do this, we are going to be using a intersect point. And to use intersect point, intersect point, um, we will be needing the world, which we'll get like that. We will be getting by using the get world 2D dot get direct space stick. Um, and then we have the world. We can then just declare some variables. So result up. Okay, so as you can see, we're checking if it intersects the point at the current position, but minus 16 at the Y position. And this will just check the tile above the player to see if there's a collision shape there. Uh, then we just have to copy and paste this for up, down, left, oh, sorry, down, left, and right, which I'll do now. As you can see, uh, we're now checking for the intersect point for the bottom of the player, the tile below the player, the tile to the left of the player, and the tile to the right of the player. Then we just have to add these to the and the we have to add these with an and statement to the if list. Uh, we do this by just doing result dot result up dot empty in this case, and this is if there is nothing above the player, if there was no collision detected, then everything's fine. You can carry on with the code. Copy this and paste it in the rest. We'll do that. And with that, we should be done. Let's have a look, shall we? And there we go. Uh, we'll be fixing a the layering issue that we've had here as the player goes behind the post in the tiling video. Simple fix. Uh, just move it above. Like that. And then it will show up behind. Uh, but it will get cramped and tiling is, is needed. And we'll be doing that the episode after the animations, which is next time. So I'll see you then. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bye.